Hello, welcome back to another video. Back with the Countax. Today, I'm replacing these brushes, bristles, combs, whatever you want to call them, on the grass collector. Over time, these get brittle, they snap, and then they stop picking up the grass properly, and that's what's happened to this one. So we're going to change them. Thought I'd bring you along. So I'll give you a closer look at what I mean. Move the grass out of the way. Some of them have got no combs left at all. Some of them have got a few. If I understood things correctly, this whole bracket, this whole bar, sorry, comes out to enable us to put new ones on. I'm not sure whether it comes out from the top or from the bottom. So I might take this off, make it easier to get to. Clear some of the grass out first. So the next thing to do is to undo these clamps. There's a nut and bolt at each end. Holding the entire uh, brush drive shaft in place. Hopefully when we've undone those two, we'll be able to take it out. Like all the best bolts, these are 10 millimeters.
Right, so despite what I said before about these being 10mm, I'm not actually sure they are. Um, I wondered if they were an AF equivalent, but they're not a 3 8 either, unless I've completely chewed this bolt in the course of making a 10mm trying to fit. So we're on with the good old adjustable here. Strange because the 10 fits quite well on the top, so on the bolt head. These were actually substantially chewed before I got to them. Got there in the end. Don't know how well you can see that bolt. It's uh, it's had a hard life. Probably uh, probably going to replace that as long as I can find a nylock to go on the end of it. All right, do the same with the other side. Right, I changed my mind again. I think they are actually 10 millimeter, but I think that one on the other side had had a uh, a hard life and maybe a bit of. Uh, Bit of chewing already. Anyway, I'm wondering if this is going to be a better method. Uh, of course, this one. Much easier. Right, they are 10mm, but the other one had been pre-damaged for me. Okay, so this is a two-part clamp, if what I've seen in the parts diagrams is correct. wasn't quite expecting that whole piece to come off like that, but it doesn't matter that it has. Check the bearings while you're here. And put that back so I remember where it came from. There's the other part to the clamp. I must say the bearings on that side don't feel quite so clever. So that's the, the complete clamp, like that. This is a, a U-shaped section.
just going to take a picture of the orientation of these and then they should slide off one by one And the old combs come out and the new ones go back on. This is actually a little bit damaged, that metal split there. Not too bad, I was just looking at whether I could weld it. Seems to still be fairly strong. Just going to take the rust off this end with a wire brush, or at least give it some sort of clean. It's a little bit easier to get the combs off the other end didn't look like it would be any easier to slide them off that end instead, so let's see how that does. I'm keeping this in the same orientation as I took it off because let's just say it's uh, probably worn into the, the mower so uh, I don't want to swap it around because that will probably make for a whole load of difficulties with refitting. Now I've taken that off I can see that that end is bent out slightly because that's where the split is in the metal. I'm just going to correct that with a hammer. You can get brushes that aren't webbed and I think this, these uh, grass collectors are supposed to have a mixture but everything I, uh, I looked at people were saying just, just use the webbed ones across the whole width so that is what I'm doing. Fifty four in total. Oh, that looks much better, doesn't it? However, I think I've slid them too far down the shaft. There's just room for them to all go this way a tiny bit. There we go. And stand that on its end to reduce the risk of damaging them too much while I go and get some more bolts because I'm not really very happy about putting these back like that. 
Okay, got some new bolts, they're M6. The ones I've got aren't quite as long as the ones I took off, but hopefully they'll be alright. And got some new nylock nuts as well. The hole on this one's just got a little lip in it where it's worn slightly so I'm just going to file that down because I think it's stopping those pieces sliding back on. I also decided to put that on there first rather than put it on the bristle drive shaft first. Now I'm going to plaster these bolts in copper grease because they get covered in grass residue, moisture, etc. These are standard M6. Put them both on loosely first. Hmm, maybe that's a bit too much of a plastering.
and there we go so let's put it back together and see if it works should do looks all right from there I mentioned in my service video that the belt was slack. I actually adjusted it already, but it's basically a case of putting it in in the lock position because that tensions the belt. Then seeing how the belt is, if it's not tight enough, then adjust these to move the whole of the collector in or out until the belt feels about right. There isn't a tension spec for it. I don't think I just do it by by feel. And as always, forgotten to put the guard down. Okay, all done, a good result. It's picking up the grass much better now. Still leaves a slight line right down the edge. I think that's just a little bit of grass that escapes out of the side of the, the cutting deck um, beyond the width of the, of the uh, grass collector. But overall, it's a vast improvement on what it was before. So, good stuff. I hope it helps if you're uh, faced with a similar issue with your Countax grass collector. For now, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you like this type of thing so you get to hear about uh, when I publish more videos like this. See you next time. Bye.